Oh, hey, it's Rob, and I'm uh, exhausted as usual. Uh, just up with mom for a little while tonight, and she was playing, <laughs> playing with the dogs, and the dogs were playing with her. It was really kind of cute. She was having a good time. Uh, I've been doing some cooking, a little bit more cooking, trying to get some uh, some variety into mom's diet, but also kind of working with what she wants, and that's been going pretty well. Uh, work is kicking my butt. Uh, I've managed to get a full eight hours every day this week, and uh, that's also interspersed with all the things I need to do. Uh, so I'm probably hitting in the neighborhood of 10 to 11 hours of doing stuff before I get a chance to do anything on my own. And by that time, it's pretty, uh, pretty low key, which is okay because there's not a lot to do here. Um, yesterday, I, I, was it yesterday? No, day before, I forget which. I scanned all the receipts so far. And, uh, <clears throat> the scanner has an OCR feature on it, which is really nice. Uh, but it turns out that OCR does not mean uh, like Excel spreadsheet capable. So I'm having to manually transfer all of those into spreadsheet form, which is causing a whole redesign of how I want things in the spreadsheet. So it's item by item. And, well, I guess it's not going to be for everything. Things like food, it's just going to be food. Because, uh, you know, it's any food that I get is going to be for mom and I. Uh, so, I don't really want to separate that. There are some things that I'm getting that are just for me or for the dogs. Other things are, you know, I'm fixing the house, doing, making little improvements here and there. Uh, worried about the snow. Uh, I don't have a snow blower here. Mom has a guy that comes when she calls him after the city has plowed the main street. But I don't know how quickly he comes. Uh, and I'm going to be stuck here for that time. I'm trying to get used to not going into town every day. I've been doing pretty well with that of going about every other day because <laughs> sometimes I need to go somewhere else. Um, trying to make lists of all the things I need, trying to make lists of all the things I need to do. And, um, it's kind of tough. Uh, I broke down and bought a uh, network attached storage NAS box. Uh, it's a Synology one. I put a couple of drives in it. And uh, so far that has been just nice. I just opened it up, plugged it in, turned it on. You know, there's a minimal setup and it's working. And apparently they have a uh, uh, cloud system where I can retrieve data, or retrieve, read or write data encrypted um, to this box from anywhere. I haven't tried that yet, mostly because I'm not anywhere. But I guess we'll see how that goes. Uh, more than anything, I wanted to have a stable... Um, place to store files so that I don't lose them. Right now I've got a backup drive that is, you know, it's a USB plug-in drive that's got a lot of stuff on it that I'm a little, sp I don't like having everything on one USB drive. It just doesn't, doesn't sit well. 
and it's you know it's not a solid state drive it's a regular spinny drive so uh, interesting interaction with the neighbors they are uh, they're putting up their Christmas decorations and um, their lighting system is controlled by uh, Wi-Fi modules and it turns out that on the south side of their garage they live to the north on the south side of their garage um, my wireless router inside mom's house is overpowering their router which is closer but it's on the other side of the garage there's a clear line of sight from their wi-fi modules on the south side to the house so <laughs> um talk with them today we're gonna uh she's gonna try and, and move the uh wi-fi control modules onto the other side see if they can get that to work um otherwise i'll i'll work with them to make sure that they can get their system working because they've been doing it for years and you know it's it's pretty major i'll get some pictures of it as they as they get it put up it's pretty cool um and i don't want to mess with that at all so you know, i will find a way to make this work however uh trish is coming this weekend bringing the puppies so we're going to have a, a dog full house uh, i mean the first time i've had anyone here to visit me uh, Uh, did bed laundry today uh, for the first time and it's it took several loads um, realized that I only had one set of sheets because <laughs> of course why would I buy multiple sets uh, but you know sheets sheets wash and dry pretty quickly uh, the rest of it I, I had spares for, so I kind of swapped everything else out. It'd be nice to sleep in a clean bed. Uh, not that dirty. It hasn't been that long. Uh, I think I need to check the dryer vent and make sure that that's clear. It seems to be taking a lot longer to dry than I think it should. So I did clean the dryer vents before, but I didn't clean the one that's from... The downstairs apartment up to the main vent so probably should look at that um, I got a pot roast uh, I think I'm gonna try and cook that for this weekend because I don't know if mom has had pot roast in a while and I think she would probably like that uh, slow cooker so it'll you know we can cook it for I think I'll probably start it tomorrow and just cook it for a really long time uh, so that it gets you know very tender so she can eat it uh, Piper decided to go yank the uh, she decided to go after something in the woods that she smelled and she was not taking no for an answer and I was pulling back on the leash Actually, I was pulling back on Sissy's leash because I have them connected with a carabiner. And Piper managed to pull the carabiner apart and got off on her own. She didn't go very far. I managed to call her back, um, which was a little surprising to me because she was very eager to go after this thing. And it was she's a very strong dog uh, she's managed to bend the prongs in her collar that takes a lot <clears throat> so I'm I'll be having to do some repairs on that but uh, yeah she is she's not a gentle dog she is when she wants to be but when she doesn't want to be she is very much not it's a good thing that she's a good she has a good personality uh, I've been going to bed early lately. I'm just so exhausted. Um, 
have to get up early in the morning uh, to do, you know, make mom breakfast and, and all the, the things before work. And uh, usually I check in with work a little bit early and if things are doing okay, I can take a, take a shower, get cleaned up and then get back on. I had a really good meeting today. It went for an hour and a half. <laughs> The dogs occasionally hear things or <laughs> pretend they hear things. There are animals around, so they occasionally hear them. So this is this is part of part of the experience. Um, haven't got a lot of stuff done that I really thought I would have done by now. We organized the tools a little bit, got a better uh, tool cabinet, I think. Uh, just easier to carry all the tools in one section rather than a whole bunch of bags. It makes it difficult to search through. <clears throat> Trying to organize and make life better for myself while I'm here. Uh, hopefully that'll brush off when I go back home. Lots of stuff to do. A lot of it is very tedious. Uh, I'm going to be here in the winter, so I'll be doing a lot of tedious things in the winter. Uh, but, you know, that's it. Mom's doing good. Uh, I'm hanging in there. Uh, making, apple, making apple butter. Uh, again. Not, I mean, this is the second time I've done it. It's the first time I've done it up here. And I'm making it with uh, mom's apples. So it's going pretty well. It takes forever. Uh, but I think I'm going to go to bed a little bit early tonight and try and zonk out and get some sleep. So, <laughs> all right. I'm going to let you guys go. I'll see you later.